just to always give everything your all and just never give up. You can be a champion with any circumstance. As long as you play with heart and with the cause, then you'll be a champion. To have my boys back, you know? Stay there whenever they need me. Help them. Being a cougar has uh, taught me respect and to always try my best no matter what. I'd have to say I'd have to thank my family. My brother, he's taught me a lot about football. And the coaches I've had through my life taught me a lot about the game too. Being a Cougars taught me uh, how to overcome adversity. You know, work hard no matter what's going on. Being a Cougar has uh, taught me how to be part of the team and uh, how much sacrifice I need to be part of the team. Have pride in what you do and always go 100%. Have respect for uh, your teammates and your opponent and to uh, give your best and expect the best from everyone. First and foremost, um, I thank God for everything that he's done for me and for the athletic ability that he's gifted me with. And uh, My mom has been a huge supporter throughout my whole football career and um, the uh, coaches just you know, giving me the tools that I need to be successful. Uh, definitely my brothers, my father, and, uh, Coach Barcelli. Uh, my number one thing for my success would be God first and then, of course, my family. So like my dad, my brothers, my mom. Step parents, because they all play a big role in and teaching me. I have God to thank for my success, and also my parents for all supporting me in what I do and coaching me. I have to thank my parents most of all because they've helped me through all my life struggles, and I really have to thank them. I definitely have to say my parents and my grandparents for coming, and I guess well, really my whole family. First of all, I have to thank my mom because she's the one that uh, pushes me to succeed in everything I do, and then the big man above. I have my grandfather because he's always pushed me to be the best I can be, as well as coaching math because he was like a dad on my football field. My favorite, favorite memory is just uh, us like taking trips down to Clovis and to Las Cruces and all the fun we've had the past four years. Just all have lots of memories. I have to be probably just messy to get messy around with the guys at practice, throwing footballs at each other. My favorite memory would probably just be during water breaks, just sitting there and talking with all the boys, you know, about school, life. My favorite football memory would definitely have to be um, just before every game when we're in the weight room, how the atmosphere and uh, the mood changes. Everyone's serious and uh, you know it's game time. It's being on the defense, the close bond that we have and the way we're all close with each other. Uh, my favorite football memory would probably be talking crap to coach Marcelli on the offense when I'm just tearing up his offense and they can't pass on me? Well, for the one year that I did play football, I'd say probably practice and just messing around with everyone at practice was probably the funnest thing. My favorite football memory would have to just be the hanging out with all the guys. I mean, I love it. Uh, the, all the trips we went, we went on and eating at Furs. I mean, it was just fun stuff. I love all these guys. Uh, probably just hanging out with all the people at practice and having fun. Workouts during the summer, you know. It's nothing really like football. There's not just one, there's tons of memories. I've been playing the sport forever and like every year there's always just a memory and they just go together like but this year would definitely probably be just running off the field after we scored and I was on PAT. So. Favorite football memory is just uh, hanging out with all the guys after the games and uh, just being a part of the team and just having a good long term relationships with all the guys. I couldn't choose a specific one. I mean, I, I love football so much that I just, I love every aspect, whether it's the conditioning or the lifting, any, everything, just being with my boys, I love it all. Probably just at practice with the Flippo screaming his head off, Sky later going crazy, Coach McMath yelling, just those are my favorite memories. Everything, I mean, it's a fun game, I love it. It's become a lifestyle. And I love to hit people, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to miss the most. I'm going to miss just being on that practice field and just having a team that just loves each other, friends that are close together, and it's just going to be sad. I'm going to miss everything, everything from like the lights, the intensity, the coaches yelling at us, just hitting people, talking trash, everything. Uh, probably dressing, dressing out, wearing the jersey down the hall every Friday or every Thursday. Just being able to play football and just be with all your friends because after this you'll never be able to play with them again or know what the next guy or what the guy next to you is going to be able to do. We had a great bond together. You know, everyone we were just this family, and it was just 
It's great guys and great friends. What I'm going to miss the most is uh, being with my teammates on such occasions and overcoming losses together, uh, enjoying victories together, um, just being really close friends with everyone, looking out for each other. That's the brotherhood that I'll miss the most. Definitely going to miss the sport and um, not being able to put shoulder pads on and play the sport and being close with all my teammates and my friends who I consider to be part of my family. Football as a whole, like, it's a game that you can't describe how much fun it is to play and now that it's over, and it still hasn't sunk in yet, and then it's over. To keep trying and to always give it your all and that it's going to be over before you know it. I think they should just work really hard, and if they work hard, I think they'll be able to achieve all their goals. My advice would be just don't take anything for granted and just always work hard because you never know when it's going to be your last time to play. The advice I have is don't, don't always look at it like this is my last first game. Always look at it like this is, this is an opportunity to play football. Like, just do it. Just work hard in the offseason and off the field and stuff and just listen to your coaches. Don't take anything for granted. Just go out there, you know, play your hardest because you never know when it's over, when it is. So just go out there and just have fun and kick some butt. The younger kids don't look, don't look back. Always succeed, you know. Don't just go to your minimum potential. Go to your full potential and you'll succeed. Uh, the advice I'd say would be don't take any days off because four years comes by fast. Love the game. Don't play with hatred or such a dislike for the other team. Just play for the love of football itself and play with all your heart. It's funny to come back and support the school. You know, it's my high school and I'll always have, I'll always have fond memories of it. So good. Absolutely. Always be in the stands. <laughs> always going to be a Cougar and I'm always going to have a special place in my heart for the team. I definitely do. Uh, this is, you know, I'll always be a Cougar inside my heart so I uh, definitely plan to come in support my team. Well, I bleed black and gold, so I think uh, sometime in the future I'll definitely come back. I know that a lot of my teammates are still staying back. A lot, just because the seniors are graduating doesn't mean my team isn't still here, so I'd like to come back and support them. I'd definitely like to um, follow the tradition at this school and um, be a part of it and support the uh, future of the football team and just the school in general. Definitely I'll come watch. I have to come watch Brett kick. I told him I'd come watch him. Definitely. This is my school. This is my boys. I'll be back. Uh, yes, of course. I'm a true Cougar at heart and a true Cougar always at school. Smell that fresh cut grass I'm back in my helmet, cleats and shoulder pads